was like over a half hour late because my train got stopped on the tracks before I was even out of planes. And then before that, my printer wasn't working, so I couldn't print out a new copy of my resume. I had to use an older version. And then it's raining. Um, I left my Metro card at home. No. And had to beg the guy to let me in so I didn't miss a train, which I still missed. Things have just been going on today. Now I'm heading back up to Midtown. I have to wear at a Revolution. picked you up in quite a while. I'm now home. I've been home for about three hours. It's 8.30 at night. I got home at about 5.30. I've basically had dinner, made myself a salad, and I've just been editing videos all day. I finished and uploaded my bachelor video, and now I've got two more videos to edit tonight. And while I do that, I'm going to embark on a skincare mission because I hate the way my skin looks right now. It just looks and feels awful to me. I'm like breaking out and it feels oily, but it's also really flaky and I don't know. It hates me and this spot is so dry. But yeah, I've got flakes everywhere. My pores are huge. It feels kind of oily. I don't know what to do with it. So I am going to be doing a lot. I think I'm going to do like an exfoliating thing and then moisturize and I don't even know. I'll keep you updated on it. I'm researching now. All right. The things I'm going to do first to wash my face. So. What I'm doing right now is going over everything with a simple micellar water because it doesn't dry me out. So I've also been wearing more makeup than usual lately because of this camera following me. So I prob that's probably part of why my face is so awful right now. My skincare routine kind of takes place in different places in the apartment. I keep some things here and some things in the bathroom. So next step, I'm actually going to go into the bathroom. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna a toner right now because like I said, my skin has been feeling very oily in addition to being patchy. So next, what I'm doing is a little weird. There was a tiny bit left into this in this jar of CeraVe moisturizing cream. Um, so it's a moisturizer, but I also needed exfoliant. So I read a bit about mixing baking soda with your moisturizer. So I did that. It doesn't really stay on my face that well, so I'm not gonna leave it on for long. I probably shouldn't have decided to do this on my bed. 
so I don't know if you can hear it, but I just got really freaked out because there's explosions happening. I think it's actually Chinese New Year fireworks, but I got so freaked out and paranoid. Now that I've dried the heck out of my skin, I'm going to use the CeraVe moisturizing cream again, but like as real moisturizer. And I'm gonna like put it on like a mask basically. I feel like this is gonna end up doing more harm than good at some point, but we're gonna test things out. I almost knocked over a glass of water. So for eye cream, I use a Neutrogena retinol cream, but I only use it at night. But I also don't use it very often because I tend to forget that I own it. I mostly put it on my eye circles and then blend up. I'm just gonna use this because it's more expensive than other things. Um, or maybe actually I'll use this. My skin needs some regenerating and this is Olay Regenerist Regenerating Serum. So it's not as expensive as this one, but this doesn't say regenerating. on. Let's see what this does. But seriously, Erica, since you're probably the only one watching this consistently, or anyone that has suggestions, if there's anything that I should do to my face that you can suggest to me, let me know in the comments because I really want to have a skincare routine and I don't and my skin is really flaky and dry but it's also like oily at the same time and I don't know what to do about it. That's what I just did to my face. All right. I'm probably gonna do nothing for the rest of the night so goodbye. Good night. Bye.